It feels like I might be like moving into the hospital, doesn't it? Now I'm thinking, should I take some plants? How's it going? I hope you're all doing well. So I can't really believe that this video is already here. It feels like literally yesterday that I was sitting down and doing my kind of, wow, I'm pregnant video. Here we are, I am 39 weeks. So I finally packed my hospital bag, which I've been leaving, I don't know, kind of a bit late. Thankfully I hadn't needed it before now. But yeah, I'm all good to go, I think, just. I've probably forgotten loads of things. Hopefully you guys will fill me in on everything I've missed out. But today's video, I'm gonna be talking you through what I've got in my bag, which is right here. And also, just because I get asked this a lot, we are not going for a home birth. We actually tried for a home birth with Sunny, and I've talked about this in previous videos. Um, and I did think about it briefly this time round, but I don't know. I had such a great birth in the hospital, in the birth center with Sunny that, um, I don't know, it was such a good experience that I feel kind of comfortable and hoping we can make it to birth center this time. And I don't know, I just don't feel drawn to give birth at home. It's quite a lot of work. Um, we've just quite recently moved house. We don't really have the right kind of space for it. So yeah, I'm really happy with our decision to go for a hospital birth. Without further ado, let's get into the video. In no particular order, because I am not that kind of ordered, organized person, I'm just gonna pull stuff out and show you what I've got. So, the first thing I'm gonna show you, and probably what's taking up most of the space in the bag, is nappies. So, I'm not entirely still sure what system we're gonna go with. I know that I'm gonna aim to use cloth from day one. And I think I'm gonna go with these, which are pre-folds made from bamboo. I wish you guys could feel, they are so soft. They're from a brand called Eco Pipo. Pre-folds is basically one piece of fabric, but it has like three folds and a thicker, more absorbent part in the middle. And bamboo is super absorbent and kind of more sustainable than cotton. So this is what I was really looking for and these are just, they're gorgeous. So I'm gonna be taking these and the idea is that you use something called a nappy nipper. Where is it? Oh yeah. Which looks like this and you fasten the pre-fold around the baby and then you need something waterproof over the top. Which brings me on to the next type of nappy I'm bringing which is a Pop-in by Close Parent. Now this is a two-piece nappy, it's slightly different. Um, you've got kind of this separate insert here that pops in to the waterproof outer layer. I don't know which one I'm gonna use, so I'm taking both. I don't know which one's gonna feel more natural, um, but I'm gonna take both and see. In my mind, I think I'm probably gonna use that as the absorbent part, and probably use the outer shell of this one, so take this, but I don't know. I'm also gonna be taking, of course, a wet bag for dirties, and I'm also gonna be taking a bundle of like fleecy liners. They're super soft, which can be used as wet wipes, as liners, probably as nappies. These I got secondhand from Facebook. I'm now thinking that I might need like a little container for water for nappy changing, so I'll probably pack a little Tupperware. Also got this, which could be a nappy. It's like a small little muslin. Uh, and then I've also got a bigger muslin. Um, none of this stuff is new. This is all the stuff that I had from Jack and Sunny. I might even cut this up, I don't know. And then I've got a wet bag for dirty nappies and dirty wipes. I do not know how the birth is gonna go, obviously. I'm hoping it will be positive and calm and I'll feel in a good place mentally and physically afterwards to use reusables. However, I might not be. It might not be as straightforward and I might want to keep things super simple, hence why I bought these. Uh, so I've got a pack of disposables as well. I bought the brand that I could find the smallest amount of and that was Natty. I also plan on returning these if I don't use them. But yeah, I'm taking these just in case. Um, what about for the baby in terms of clothes? I haven't really got the baby anything new, new, like I did first time and second time round, but I'm taking a couple of bits that I've got from an awesome company called The Little Rental Company. They kindly sent me some. They basically kind of do what they see on the tin so you can rent out baby clothes from them. All of their clothes are organic and they send like a batch to you depending on the age of your child and then you send them back and then they send you a batch when your child is a bit older and it keeps going on like that. The idea being that you 
spend less because you're not buying new clothes all the time and you just create less waste because you're returning them and you're not getting through clothes and then wondering what you can do with them like so often happens when you're left with loads of baby clothes that your kids have grown out of. So this, this is just gorgeous. Um, a little suit. I mean, it's naught to three months. It looks quite big, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and it's so soft. Also, like, I don't know what the weather's gonna be like. It's probably gonna be quite warm, and I like that this is footless. Also got from them that I'm taking, because it might be really hot, some little teeny shorts, and then a little vest. Honestly, the colours from this company are gorgeous. This one's from Little Green Radicals, a brand I really like anyway, and yeah, it's a really kind of thoughtful company, and I'll probably talk about them more another time. Oh, and this one, a bit warmer. I think I'll probably chuck in a couple of baby grows that I had when Jack and Sunny were born. Let me get them. This teeny tiny one um, that I had with Jack or Sunny, I can't remember, I think Sunny, and another vest. I think that is all for the baby. Also got another wet bag, which brings me on to stuff for me. What I've got is this little pack. So in here is a selection of Bloom and Nora pads for afterwards. They're super soft. Some are bamboo and some are cotton, but they're amazing. Also got this one, which is gorgeous from one of my fave brands, which is VM. Oh, she's on Etsy. I'll link to it below, but she makes them all by hand and they're just beautiful. Also got some breast pads for feeding. So I've got these ones from La Peppa. They're really, really soft and lovely. These are some breast pads by the lady that does the sanitary towels. Just gonna keep everything in this little bag. Lots of breast pads, lots of sanitary pads. Hopefully I'm covered in that department. What else for me? Headphones, I think music's gonna play a really, really important part in my labor. It has previously, these are my favorite House of Marley ones and I just need these and music to be able to zone out of real life into labor land. Talking of uh, music and environment, I've got my tea lights, so these I used for Sunny's birth and they did a lot for me actually. Um, they're basically just like little battery operated tea lights which go like this. Sam put them all around everywhere so they were all around the birth pool and they just really, really helped create the calm environment that I really so wanted. Obviously these are just like, if you can't be at home with candles, this is kind of the next best thing. The pillowcase, because I plan on taking my own pillow as well to hospital. Yeah. <laughs> Speaker, again, so if I'm in the water, or moving around lots or whatever and I can't plug in, I will definitely use a speaker to put music on in the whole room. I imagine myself listening to music alone, plugged in in the earlier stages of labor and then using this later, but I don't know. I'm gonna be taking some crystals again. It's all about environment for me and just creating a really safe space. It feels like I might be like moving into the hospital, doesn't it? Now I'm thinking, should I take some plants? But no, like these small things made, I think, a big difference to me last time and really take away from the fact that you're in a clinical place and help just create that calm, serene environment that so helps with labor. Other things, so I recently did some painting and made some just like birth, mantra, affirmation-y stuff. So I've got these around here, and what I'm gonna do is take them to the hospital, um, and I've also got some from last birth as well, and take some blue tack and put them up. Again, like, I don't know, does this stuff sound all wacky? Had it last time, and it hugely helped when I was pretty far through my labor, and I was tired, and Sam was tired, and before, up to that point, he'd been able to really like offer me up loads of encouragement and supportive words. But by the end, like he was lagging as well. And so I remember almost like when he was kind of out of words, I was able to look up and see positive birth statements all around. And that's really what I needed at that point. And it saved Sam having to like think of stuff to say and words to offer, cause it was just all there. Okay, toiletry wise, the basic essentials, toothbrush for me and Sam, Got my favourite Liha body oil, a little bit of makeup, hairbrush, toothpaste. I haven't tried these, these are the Geo Organics tablets, so I thought, oh, it'd be a good time to try them. It's still a treat to have 
afterwards. Favourite facial oil, shampoo bar, and it's all in my Lucien Yak dungaree bag, which I love and just makes a perfect toiletry bag. And then a few other bits, reusable water bottle and straw. I love this one because it's kind of springy and soft. I definitely want this to be able to drink lots of water through labour because this is a problem I've had previously where I've not drunk enough. So I'd need to really focus on drinking a lot. Pajamas, some clothes for the next day, and just underwear, crop top. I feel like I'm gonna be in this when I'm in labor. And finally, a little gift, and this one's for Sunny, and I'm gonna pop out tomorrow to get something for Jack, but I want to give each of the boys a little gift uh, from the baby. I don't know, I just feel like I wanna do that. So yeah, I think that's it guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what I've forgotten because I've probably forgotten something really important. I will be back soon with a video, maybe with a baby. In the meantime, take lots of care and I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, and here's my bump. Ooh, it's quite big now, hey?